Barn Burning by William Faulkner, PowerPoint by Nicholas Campbell. Barn Burning by William Faulkner is a story about a boy, Sartorus Snopes, who has a pyromaniac father, Abner, that burns down people's barns to exact revenge. Faulkner, a modernist writer, exemplifies many characteristics of the modernism writing period. Of those characteristics, the main ones that seem to shine through are non-traditional hero, acceptance that society is not perfect, and the sense of disillusionment and lack of trust in previous generations, which is embodied by Abner Snopes. The hero in modern works is vastly different from the heroes of other writing periods, especially when compared to the heroes of the romantic works. These differences make some people refer to these heroes as more of an anti-hero, because instead of the protagonist being someone that people instantly like, they are fearful, dull-witted, disrespectful, ill-groomed, clumsy, and awkward, as Gay Dossick put it, but when the time comes, this character is called upon to resolve the conflict. In this case, the anti-hero would be Sartorus Snopes, because while the beginning of the story, Sartorus lies about his father burning down Mr. Harris's barn, and he doesn't stand up to his father, he warns Major to Spain before Abner can claim another barn before running away into the wilderness without looking back. As with every other writing period before this, modernism is a reaction to the pre previous movements. The preceding movement was Romanticism, so modernism turned away from the idealistic and utopian thoughts and instead accepted that society is not perfect. There are always going to be separate classes and there are going to be hardships. In the case of the Snopes family, they are at the bottom of the ladder of society, which would explain why Abner has so much resentment towards the de Spain family, having never met them before. Even Abner's wife feels this way, shown when she asked Abner, I reckon I'll have a word with the man that aims to begin tomorrow, owning my me, body and soul, for the next eight months. Although Abner resents the hierarchy of which he is at the bottom of, he is he still strictly enforces his own hierarchy within his family, shown by the treatment of them and the house's metaphorical sleeping arrangements, in which Abner, Abner's wife, and the eldest son sleep on beds, while the rest of them sleep on pallets. The most obvious modernist characteristic, and what seems to be the main focus of the story, is the feeling of disillusionment and the despair that pervades the entirety of the short story. While the other two examples are reinforced with literal events and expressed feelings, this example is expressed mostly through symbols scattered throughout the story. The main symbol that points back to the main theme of the story is the same is a simple fact that Sartorus has a crazy pyromaniac father who thinks only of himself and keeps ruining his family's life just because he dislikes the person he farms for. Abner represents the previous generation to the modernist writers. Abner is tied together with another major symbol, fire. Since Abner and fire are paired together, so is what they represent. The modernist writers saw the previous generation, Abner, as the ones responsible for social and economic disasters, fire, like the Great Depression and World War I that, writers have, that the writers had to live through. The sharecropping system that the Snopes family seems to be trapped in and the sense of injustice and non-perfect utopian society would, could also point back to the modernist writers blaming their parents for the disaster and tragedy of the Great War. Faulkner tied in the components of the anti-hero, a broken society, and despair to create a perfect example of the ideals of modernist writers. While the story did have some symbolism, it was still easy to understand and follow without having to think much into it. Abner's actions and Sartre's choices create a story that is still relatable and relevant to this day. The ending leaves the question of whether or not Abner was the one who got shot, but it seems that is as if Cyrus does not care either way. He still runs into the forest, away from his family and all of their troubles.